Bonsoir tout le monde. I'd like to begin by pre thanking President Xi and the city of Hangzhou for ho hosting the G20 summit. We were truly made to feel welcome here. Nous venons de terminer une série de rencontres très productives où nous nous sommes concentrés encore une fois sur comment nous pouvons mieux travailler ensemble pour, pour faire croître l'économie mondiale. Mon message aux autres dirigeants était clair. My messages to the other leaders were straightforward. First, that we need to continue to pursue more open trade because we know that through trade, we can expand opportunities and help create more well-paying jobs. That's good news for the middle class and those working hard to join it. Second, that we need to make sure that growth that is achieved is growth for the middle class and those working hard to join it. It's not good enough to have the benefits felt by the wealthiest 1%. They need to be felt by everyone. Troisièmement, j'ai fait valoir que notre croissance commune doit être propre. J'ai encouragé les autres dirigeants à faire plus pour réduire les émissions de gaz à effet de serre et adopter des technologies propres afin de permettre à tout le monde de réaliser des progrès sur l'accord de Paris avant notre prochaine rencontre. Finally, I want to point out that these conversations didn't happen in a vacuum. It's clear that around the world there is a desire for change coupled with a real sense of uncertainty. That uncertainty, that fear, is driving some people towards a more isolated and insulated worldview. I reminded my colleagues that Canada's success is rooted in our willingness to engage with the world, and I encouraged them to do the same.